It's Sunday, January the 25th. Woke up to 45 degree temperatures this morning. It's one of the reasons I wanted to come out today. I thought it'd be a bit nippy today. It's in the upper 60s, supposed to get around 70. And a full slate of selections here at Gulfstream and also had picks from Tampa, Santa Anita, Aqueduct, and the Fairgrounds. I picked up my first winner of the day in the second at Gulfstream. Javier Castellano was aboard number eight Wildcat Gaze. Wildcat Gaze ran well in Maiden Claiming Company last time out, but today trainer Jane Savelli confidently raised him up into Maiden Special Weight Company and the crowd saw what I saw, let him go off as the short price, odds on, even money favorite, track the pace Silver into the Fog stretch. Taking charge. Silver Fog runs 46 and two for a half mile, turns for home in front by two. Wildcat Gaze into second, Tar and Feather has given way, and now Wildcat Gaze is coming after Silver Fog, and Wildcat Gaze runs by Silver Fog. Wildcat Gaze and Javier Castellano lengthening their lead as they come down to the finish. Silver Fog was second and then Silver Fog. Over $20 to start the day off. Fourth and the fifth at Gulfstream, both turf events, both photo finishes. In the fourth, we are going two turns. I like number eight, Raro. Ten to one in the program. Paco Lopez aboard when the wagering opened. Oh, she was the favorite at three to one. Floated up to four to one at post time. Stalked the pace into the stretch. Into the stretch. And here's Raro on the outside with Summertime Music. These two coming up and after Kingdom's Crown who got through on the inside. And now a lover's question drops back, trying to find a seam as Wild Eris who comes oh, spreading horses. Oh, 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 and it's going to be a head-bobbing finish between Jalea and Raro. Oh, that was close. Watch the slow-mo. Oh, what do you think? Second. you believe that? Man, I don't know. See how that red, the end of the red is supposed to be the finish line. Why does it go right past the winner? Never did understand that. In the fifth, we we're back on the turf. This time I like Joel Rosario on number eight, Little Baltar. Was sitting up there at three to one. Then there was a late scratch, dropped down to five to two. Took late money, two to one when they left the gate, nine to five by the hit the far turn, right to the front. Here came a closer on the outside, photo again. 22 flat was the quarter. They make their way around the turn. Little Baltar, the leader. On top by a length, Lord of the Light on the outside, second. Graham cuts the corner, runs third on the inside. Space Cowboys, Honors is next, and then comes Coochman and Royal Ascot Zip. Little Baltar has the lead as they come into the oh, final oh, 16. Oh, yeah, oh, that's wow. I'll take the $5 winning ticket. Got back over $14. It's my second winner at Gulfstream. And now it's wide open with three sixteenths of a mile still to run. Solid tribute battles back gamely. And now Frontier Force betting horses and lunging at the leader. Saturday, what a day that the favorite is defeated inside the final for dog. It's Frontier Force. And now Frontier Force. Under another great ride by Gallardo, starting clear by two and a half. Solid tribute. In the sixth at Gulfstream was a maiden special weight for three-year-olds. My top two picks were number eight, it's only acting dad, who was three to one in the program, and number four, Ayati, who was two to one in the program. Ayati was from Chad Brown Barn, first time starter at Javier Castellano, but as I wrote, there's no way I was going to let number eight, it's only acting dad, with John Velasquez for Todd Pletcher go off at any kind of a price. Well, it's only acting dad was nine to one. And Iadi was bet down to six to five. And I seriously considered switching my bet and then I thought, no, what if Pletcher wins and I miss out on $100? So, as they hit the far turn, 
It's only acting dad made his move, but I had he was on the outside. And now they move toward the top of the stretch with Charlevoix the leader. It's only acting dad is second. Right behind them, Kitty's Pearl. Adiati comes into the stretch three wide and closes in on the front runners. Valientes on the far outside. They're into the stretch, and it's Charlevoix in front. Ayati picking up stride on the outside. It's only acting dad is there. Here's Ayati. Ayati, and it's only acting dad the first time. Heads all the way to the wire. I Photo finish again. Watch the slow mo. What do you think? Oh, second. It's two photo losses today that cost me over $160. Man. In the seventh at Aqueduct, a non winners of one allowance, I like number nine, Court Dancer. He'd been the seven to five favorite in a spot just like this last time out and had problems and just stopped inexplicably. Well, top jockey Irad Ortiz stuck with him today. I figured he'd be a bit of a price. He was four to one in the program. Made his move at the top of the stretch. Court Dancer getting closer, second and outside. My One Love set to strike third toward the rail. Jazz Mind Gem comes off the turn, racing fourth, but only three lengths to make up and a quarter mile to go. Lady Luciano trying to hang in there. Here comes Court Dancer now. Court Dancer on the outside, puts a nose in front, three sixteenths out. From the back of the pack, My One Love and Jazz Mind Gem trying to muster up final furlong rallies. One furlong left. Court Dancer comes away with a two-length lead. Lady Luciano fighting on Jazz Mind Gem. My One Love on the outside, but it is Court Dancer with a two-length lead to the line. And Court Dancer got it. Court Dancer, nearly $20. The 10th at Tampa. Claiming nine winners of three lifetime. I like number four, Huntstown. He was coming off a break last time out, was drawn wide, and was wide on both turns and facing 25,000 two lifetime company, making just his fourth career start on the turf. Well, obviously, with that race under his belt, he'd be more fit today, dropping in class today, and Victor LeBron was a 27% winner with a $4.53 ROI for the barn. Off the beat slow, made his move on the turn. Moves up now to be second, and here comes Huntsdown. Swinging right for the drive as they turn for home. It's Gilt Pretty go in front. Huntsdown takes dead aim on the leader as they approach the quarter mile ball and toward the rail. Newfound supper. Moves through now to challenge. Inside the final for long. Huntsdown on the outside. Go, Bernie, go. But now Huntsdown and the Indiana bread puts them all away. In front and going away under LeBron. Go, Bernie, go. Is there second. Newfound Huntsdown there. scores. Get back over $30 at Tampa. Sixth at Santa Anita, the nine winners of one allowance for three-year-olds, eight furlongs on the turf. I think prize exhibit is tough. He'll be my best bet of the day. 20 to win on prize exhibit, who was beaten a neck and a three-way photo in a group three in Europe. It says a lot about class. Backstreet Lease is the leader, going to be taken on by Midnight Miley. Looking for money is on the inside. On the outside, Prize Exhibit now moving up comfortably. Grandstand side with a white face. And Prize Exhibit now is going to be let loose at the top of the lane. They come for home and Prize Exhibit now bounding up to them on the outside. Looking for money, He's hanging tough along the inside. Looking for money, Prize Exhibit, Prize Exhibit, too good today. Prize exhibit never really looked like losing. Wins it smartly under Mike Smith. Prize exhibit to look. Enjoyed being out here at Gulfstream today. Man, so many seconds and so many photo finishes. Those two photo finishes that cost me $160 today. Those will haunt me for a long time. I have my procedure on Friday, so I doubt I'll be out here Saturday. And then I will be playing again next week.